Hey y'all, welcome back to Joey's Adventure. It's an adventure every day with Joey's Adventure. Sorry if the camera's off, high low vision for those of you who don't know. For those of you who follow me every day, thank you. I appreciate it super, super a lot. And today we're going to talk about how to get a boat that's stripped out. Worst comes worst, you might have to use a torch to heat it up. But that's the worst come to work. If it's that badly stripped, you're gonna need a torch to heat up. There's no other way. You might say, how do you know that being blind? Well, I got 95 in automotive school being blind. And no disability limits you to anything that's like. But we're gonna come up with a couple of things before using that torch that might work. Number one, try the next size down from the size that you're using. Get a little bit smaller one. And it might have to be hammered on, but don't forcefully hammer it on where it's going to damage the head of the bolt worse. And if it's starting to move, don't twist it very fast. If you snap the head, then you have to get a tap and die set, and you have to get it out that way. And that would be a whole nother problem. And you really don't want to do it that way. That would make your tie 10 times harder, or 50 times harder, depending on how long the bolt is. And you don't want to do that, I promise you. Now, if that don't work... Try a spark plug socket the next size down, even if it's not a spark plug, a spark plug socket sometimes will work. Or, put a spark plug socket insert in the socket that you're using. If you have old spark plug socks that you get rid of, keep the inserts of rubber on the inside. It's good to shove in a socket, because it will help get a strip bolt out, trust me. I have done it in the past. Now, if that don't work, damn it, this ain't working. Look at it and see if you can file down and make the head back. Now, if you can't, or you don't know what you're doing, don't do it because you can make it worse. But if you know what you're doing, file it and try and make it better. Now, if that don't work, and you can't find a socket that fits it, I'm afraid to say you're going to need a tap and die set. And that's going to make it a little bit harder. And if you know what you're doing, you can get it out that way. But you might have to heat it up with a torch, depending on... Now, if it's new, a fuel tank of car, never use a torch without removing the fuel tank off the vehicle first. Because it's smart. It can cause a fire if you do not. I do not trust the little things that go over the fuel tank and block it. I don't trust them. I remove them personally myself. And I highly recommend you removing it if the bolt's near there. Now, stay tuned for more awesome videos. I also create music. I do tons of stuff. Don't forget to check out my channel. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, comment below. Look forward to seeing you all in the next cool video. Peace. Shutter.